Hello, 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 guys. Total War Master here. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm bringing you all some uh, Napoleon Total War uh, online battle. This is going to be a 2v2 France versus Prussia. Um, so let's go ahead and go over the army comps real quick. Uh, I'm bringing six companies of the Fusiliers, two companies of Bordigares, two companies of Chasers. Uh, the big dog here, Napoleon Bonaparte. Uh, I'm also bringing uh, one old guard unit, a six inch howitzer, and uh, these uh, should be legit lancers. One company of those. On to my ally, he's going to be bringing two companies of um, the Chevy Leger Lancers, the 7th E Regiment. Um, he's also bringing the Dutch Guard Lancers and some Chasers of Chevelle. He's also going to be bringing about five companies of the, no, three companies of Fusiliers, three companies of Polish, uh, Old Guard, uh, a lot of these National Guard, uh, chasers and I believe one body gear unit and I believe he's also bringing a experimental howitzer which I don't ever recommend in getting a Napoleon one because experimental howitzers suck boss hack so uh, on to my allies opponents uh, army he's gonna be bringing uh, two regiments of Jaegers two regiments of Lisi and Schutzen uh, some Dragoons. He's not going to go very cab heavy. Uh, it's his ally that's going to be going fairly cab heavy. So one regiment of Dragoon, a general staff, foot guards, a lot of musketeers, and a seven pounder howitzer. And then on to my opponent who's going to be bringing Dragoons, uh, Lancers, uh, more Dragoons, and some Prussian Fusiliers, a 12 pounder foot artillery. I don't necessarily recommend bringing foot artillery on this map, uh, but you guys know me, I'm more of a howitzer guy. I don't like bringing uh, regular foot artillery unless it's like, um, let's go ahead and pause it, um, unless it's like a siege or something. But anyway, he's bringing some more mu more uh, musketeers, some land weir, and that's about it. Um, so anyway, guys, my normal plan, as would be for most people on this map, um, is to take the hill, and luckily for me, I was able to get to the hill, uh, and we were able to get off some fairly good kills on his, uh, Fusiliers, because they were trying to run up there. So both armies are kind of at a disadvantage here, more him, because he lost men, but also because our guys are both tired, so... Whoops, let's get rid of this mini map. Ah, damn it. Get rid of the mini map. Okay, there we go. That's my bad. That's a friend. He's asking about a video. If y'all are wondering, uh, y'all might see that video. I don't know when, but I'll I might I might post it. Uh, in a couple of days or so. So anyway, heavy, heavy exchange of fire between me and Prussia here. He's going to bring up some land weir just to basically sacrifice them. Just to draw the fire of my chasers and fusiliers. So there they go. Artillery, I think, is going to get fairly good kills as well. But they are losing a lot of guys. They're even, they're kind of wasting a foot guard unit too, so. Let's go check on my ally side here. So ally and his opponent are still getting set up here. They're kind of organized here while what's going over there is basically just chaos <laughs> so so I put my guys in a V formation just to make sure that the flanking army here doesn't have any ideas or his flanking uh, troops don't have any ideas to try and storm the hill here from behind um, he did have the skirm advantage on this side though but he chose not to really use them so that was a good advantage to me 
So still the fight for the hill goes on. Then we're still getting shot up to hell. I'm gonna reform my lines. There they go. There you go. Just for the land weir. And then they're gonna go ahead and route. So here I put my uh, void gears along the uh, little bank here so it can start firing and putting pressure on the foot guards along here. Oh, he has two foot guard units. I thought these were a musketeers unit and a foot guard there, but no. He's sending in his elite guys in there. Glorious day to be fighting on a hill in stormy weather. So as you can see, I have some guys trying to march into this little ravine here. Unfortunately, I don't know if it was a bug or a glitch that was in here, but it would not let my guys go through here even though I could put them through in there. But it kept glitching them out and stuff like that, so it kind of screwed up my plan. What I wanted to do is I wanted to go right through the middle and take care of the musketeers that were here. But it didn't really go in my favor on that part. But that's alright, we are pretty much winning this hill here. One of our units has used all and unfortunately, sir. my fusiliers, I believe, lost their ammo. So I just charged him into the uh, into the uh, I think I charged him into the foot guard, and then here comes his dragoons. I didn't see it in time to notice because uh, I was multitasking. So they pretty much charged into my voltigators and wrecked them up. Which I don't know why he didn't just charge into my tracers. Because he could have killed those guys equally as fast, but then again. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. So Hussars is going to waste his Hussar unit. Now this one I didn't notice either. Charged right into the back of my old guard. And it hurt me inside a little bit to know that these guys went on in a blaze of glory. So old guard fighting for their life, protecting the howitzer. So here he's sending up more, he's sending up fresh troops now. He's got two companies of musketeers supporting the right flank of the hill. Uh, I have a Voltigear unit doing their best to um, hit the foot guard and keep them occupied. So Old Guard was able to hold out, thank God. But I think they're going to take another assault here. And I know I clicked square form, but they just did not do it. So unfortunately, my old guard is going to have to withstand another attack here. As you can see, I had to break my V form uh, to hold on to this hill here. I had to put these guys back in position. So on my ally side, full major assault here. Um, just chaos. Uh, Prussia's gonna go ahead and charge in their land weir. Good tactic, but the thing is, is land weir are gonna just basically route fairly quick. He has experimental howitzer, the 7 pounder howitzer, or the 12 pounder, I believe. Nope, 7 pounder. 
It would have been really effective if he kept him over there. But I honestly think they could have gotten really good kills if they moved it over there. So here he goes. He has his chasers. Fusiliers. Now here's going to try and go ahead and hit them on the far right side. Uh, which I think they're going to have a little bit more trouble with because it's more organized around here. And not only that, Prussia has a Our good hold on this sir. part here, even with the massive amounts of cav, but he's going to fix that with these chaser units here. So good on the National Guard. They're holding back Landwehr and Musketeer regiments. National Guard and Fusiliers fighting side by side. Trying to take and push through the middle here. Chaser's basically putting the hurt on these musketeer units now here I don't think he has no idea what to do with his cab but he is pushing him through the middle oh here we go Our men are running, sir. huge cab charge on the flank here gonna hit him right on and through He's going to charge his Lancers and his Dragoons in there. So Prussia was able to reform their lines, but I think it was pretty useless since now France has the manpower advantage. So here on my side, you can see that we basically destroyed the men that were trying to come up on this hill and hit sir, me. Sir, our general um, is under attack. See, we're still fighting for this hill. Massive amounts of loss here. Uh, I'm getting flanked here by uh, Fusiliers. Uh, so I moved up my Fusiliers as well to counter theirs. I'm also moving in my Lancers, my Fusiliers, and my Old Guard to try and stop it. But you can see, I have more Fusiliers. I think they're going to get in range and start hitting the Musketeers here, too. So, Old Guard, Chevaliers, and Fusiliers finally getting Our there. Men are running, sir. So, there they are. Now, my plan is here to um, have them fire a couple of volleys, take them off fire at will, then charge my cab into them, pull the cab back, put it back on fire on will, and then just decimate them like that. And it, it does work. It really does work. It's a good tactic to do. Especially when you're on lines that are really kind of out flanking you like this. Cannonball gonna go ahead and hit my Fusiliers with an attitude. So they go, they're gonna start firing again. So here they're gonna have to reform and disperse. Um, Fusiliers, I can't, I cannot believe how long my Fusiliers held out. Because they were under attack from both sides here, as well as getting hit in, in the side <laughs> by foot guard units. And they were able to hold out. That was pretty impressive. So my allies basically just decimated the forces along here. He's lost most of his cav in the charge, but it was worth it. Prussia's gonna charge in their dragoons. 
think he's gonna try and hit his general. He's gonna play it dirty. Yeah, he's gonna play it dirty. So man one's down. One of our units has Old guard out of ammo. So pressure long over there is able to reform with what he has left. Uh, but to be honest, he probably shouldn't have. He probably should have like pulled back along here and made a defensive stance here because at this point, my ally, I believe, has the most manpower at, at this point. And I think he has um, better troops as far as morale and aim goes or accuracy. So he's going to make the wise decision to pull back to his ally and try and reinforce him. But as you can see, they're getting pretty desperate. Um, they're charging musketeers as well as his general into my uh, fusiliers who, need I remind you, are the ones that held here, but I charged Napoleon into their general, hoping to kill him, but I didn't get that close. Pulled the general back. Our brave ally has fallen, sir. So there goes my allies general. He's gone. So Fusiliers able to hold out for as long as possible. But unfortunately, the musketeers just overwhelm them, which is understandable. But I still have a lot of fresh troops left. I have fusiliers, uh, more fusiliers. I think the bulk of my army now is just fusiliers. But I have a fresh regiment, two fresh regiments of fusiliers. I don't even think they've fired yet, so. And one fresh unit of chasers, so. Perfect for me. So, as I said, they're gonna make a, f a retreat to my opponent here. A desperate attempt. Unless he's gonna go ahead and go back and fight, which I highly doubt he's gonna do. Yes, he's not gonna fight. He won't stay and fight. He knows he needs at least the support of his allies to even make a difference here. But I have him pretty much trapped. As well as my ally, they can't basically go anywhere at this point. They go that way, they're going to go into him. If they go this way, they're going to go into me. They try to go through the middle, then, well, we got him basically cornered too. So, so these guys are going to go ahead and try and make a run towards their ally. I'm going to put my chasers and fusiliers there. Rain hell on them. We gotta charge his dragoons in. Get in the square. Charge my general in to stop him. So this was an interesting battle. A big cost of life for this hill. As you can see. And another big cost of life uh, for flanking. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. You can see it too because... C tried to kill my howitzer and he did succeed. I'm just going to say he did because they were forced to use one howitzer cannon. And if you basically force the howitzer unit to use only one cannon, they're basically gone. So, so here I'm going to charge in my chaser units. Um, they're no use to me. I ran out of ammo. Foot guards. I'm gonna try and make a stand too. So here comes my ally with his 
brave French army, which is fantastic for me because I think I was about to kind of get pwned here had they used their full blunt force on me. So good hit on the Dragoon Regiment here. See, here he goes. He's going to set his guys up into stagger formation. Gonna fire at his fusiliers. Our men are running, sir. So, I think he's, you see, this is why I don't like bringing foot artillery on maps like these. They're basically useless unless you know how to, unless you know where you're going to put them and how you're going to use them. But this guy unfortunately didn't, so. So I'm going to reform my lines here, take care of the rest of the uh, Silesian or Prussian Fusiliers and the Historic General. I'm going to go ahead and take him out. So they're going to make a full retreat back here. I wish what he tried to do, I wish he put his cannons up here just to try and kill off some of the French guys. Although it would have been indifferent because I would have got my infantry up that hill, which I'm going to do before he could set them up. But he's going to set them up right there for some reason when he had the chance to shoot at them like this. But I guess he thought that if he just put them like that, they won't stay like that. They'll go this way. But that cannon might have proved to be really beneficial to him had he used canister and set it up right. So mass charge for my ally here. I'm gonna charge Brian to the foot guards. Like I said, I'm gonna get up on this hill here, get some hill action. Get some fire down on those guys, help my ally out. a massive bloodbath here. Gonna shoot out from behind. So goodbye to the foot guards. So chain route from Prussia here. Nothing left. So so that's the battle guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm just going to go ahead and do a little pan of all these dead bodies here uh, while I can. Uh, especially while I talk a little bit about something. Um, okay. Um, uh, I I did take down the straw poll for, uh, um, for uh, Lord of the Rings, uh, the Lord of the Rings game, um, Battle for Middle Earth. And the side that won was good. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I believe on Friday I'm going to do uh, the good campaign. And I might do one mission each so it will last me. Or I might just do two missions each depending on how, how long I take. Uh, and a lot of uh, one person in particular has been asking me about uh, the... Um, the... Uh, um, the uh, Darth Maul game, the Darth Maul campaign. Don't worry, man. It, it don't worry to you. To you, don't worry. Or okay, I need to start over. Don't worry. And to those of you who do like them, but you just don't want to 
ask me where they are. Um, they will be coming, I promise you they are. It, like I said, it just takes a long time of editing because I have to be real careful about what I edit and I also have to be careful of how much time I spend because, like I said, the battles, I'm not over-exaggerating when it comes to the battles. It's like uh, Napoleon Total War 3 mod or whatever. Those battles take a really long time and you gotta be really patient. So I just gotta watch how long I take. I edit out a lot of good stuff, edit out a lot of um, stuff but still make it interesting for you guys and apparently I think I did that in the second one because I had to edit that out dramatically and y'all still liked it so um, so yeah I think that's all I wanted to go over so anyway guys um, if you're if it's morning and you're watching this then good morning if it's night and you're watching this then good night uh, this is Total War Master signing off